Yeah, that got up about an hour ago and it was really nice out. Looked like it was going to be a decent day. And all of a sudden it just started doing this crap again. It's that Rochester weather. But hey, what do we got here? Yeah, well, I got a new toy. I stole it from Pisser. It's a Polaris 4x4 Magnum. With an extra bumper guard and stuff on it. Cute. I like it. Now it's going to get all snowy. Hopefully the snow will let up this afternoon. Here we go check it out. Yay! The outlaw's got a toy. Trailer's for sale. Mud truck for sale. Around the corner. $4,500. So this is typical New York Rochester weather here. This morning it was snowing, now the sun's out, but it's cold as hell still. It's like 26 degrees. Burr. But the skies are clearing up. They have a winter blizzard this morning and now the skies are blue. <laughs> Welcome to Rottenchester, New York. Well, here's our new uh, Polaris Magnum, 4x4, 425. Liquid four stroke. So, demand four drive, and we are replacing the rear chain on it today. This thing has three chains on it, and like five sprockets, six sprockets maybe. Um, we got this from Pisser2001 on YouTube. Let's check out his channel. Um, yeah, we knew it had some dilemmas when we bought it from him. We gotta get us a clutch cover for it. And uh, I picked up a battery for it already. And I gotta replace that uh, little short red uh, wire there. There's like four strands holding it on that green part right there. So I'm gonna replace that. Out of 50, I think there's four holding it. But it still starts once in a while. <laughs> now we're gonna go down to John Page Equipment, have him make us up one real quick. I think it'll be cheaper to do it that way. And then to buy one at the player's place. So we uh, took it for a ride and the back chain was really bad. I put some PB blaster on it and eh, throughout the years, 95, 96, you know, the chains wear. So I don't know if it was ever replaced before or not. We didn't get the rear sprocket. Uh, sprocket looks pretty good. So we're just going to run with one we got for right now. Uh, we got to work on the brakes on it still. Uh, we're going to, I didn't know how to tighten this up but I guess he loosened up these two bolts back here and on a spanner wrench here for adjusting this this whole piece is supposed to turn for adjusting your chain back and forth I didn't realize that um, I just got the manual from Pisser um, so I'm gonna try to get this chain on here and get this worked out I'm gonna pick up a couple new tires this one's here a little dry rotted the other one ain't as bad but still is but we're gonna pick us up two new ones for that, we order our helmets after we finish paying Pisser for it. Made one payment to them and one more payment. Front tires look good. We're going to run them this summer. They look alright. We're definitely looking for an extra spare wheel rim for the front. Extra spare wheel rim for the rear. If you guys have any or you guys know anybody where I can pick one up so we have spares for the front and rear, please let us know. But, I like it, so let's get this chain on and go for a ride. Alright. Parts Unlimited came a little long, so we took it down and had it shortened. Took out the two links. It's supposed to be 80, 85 links. This was a little longer, so we took out the two. We have our new master link. This is the one with the O rings in it. O rings in the chain. Never seen that before, but. Didn't have that stuff when I was a kid riding dirt bikes. Today they modernize stuff. Joe College going to work. Extra link just in case. Alright. Yeah, that's cool. So we got us a new chain back on there now. A little pain in the butt squeezing that uh, master link together. But uh, that went back together just fine. Focus. Focus. There we go. Yep. Had to clip you on a 
line there. And squeeze it together real good. Squeeze both your ends in and get that clip on there. Like I was saying earlier, here's your two bolts to loosen it up in the back. That loosens up your whole shaft back here. And then this center turns right here for adjusting it. If you push it forward, that uh, tightens it up. And if you pull it backwards, it loosens it up. So pretty easy adjusting. We got us about a quarter inch play in here now like it's supposed to be. And we're good to go. Take her for a ride. I wonder if it'll start up. It's cold start, eh? Let me try this cold start thing. Two. I should do with my other hand. Uh, I just had to give it a little gas. You hear that clutch cover? That clutch cover good, eh? get one of them. There's that battery cable. Really sweet. Road to death. Nice. 